ilang araw na lang po magpapalit na ng taon at malapit na yung Pasko. Time fly fast. Bilis. We have a limited time here on earth. Make sure you're focusing on what is essential. The devil will try to snatch your opportunity. That's why the Bible says, making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. Paul and, and Peter, atin la pong parehong uh, concept kay ba, ng may ligtas ng believer. That I'm, I'm using this as an introduction kasi po bukas, Deng hanggang workers make ticket la po keng ketang farm. Ano na kasi lagi tang farm? Brief. Oh yon. Brie. Okay, Brie Farm keng ni Kimbetis. So nung bisa ko pong uh, munta ka rin 9 to 12. Ya yeah, application. Uh, tapos itang remaining kanita timpong karempa balang departamento magbanding la po. Discuss do retang karelang concerns. And then, uh, paklan siya po, kanya-kanya pong bakal. Baka nita, mangantamo po together. They're considered workers at bisa pang mag-renew as workers just to remind them that their commitment is not to CCMI, not even to Pastor Jerry or anyone else here, but to their creator. Amen? So, we would like to remind everyone. But nonetheless, Paul says in Galatians 5.13, after being saved, it is very important for you to understand what's the next move. You, my brothers, were called to be free. God is not interested in join, to, to let you join any religion. He's only interested in setting people free. But, there is but, everybody say but. Here, here, here is the, here's the catch. Do not use your freedom to indulge in the sinful nature, rather, say rather, ito yung gusto ng Panginoon, no, iniburina eh, after being saved, you need to serve one another. Uh, eh, nakatapo din ni Senyo ng Diyos na magdilidili. Anyapin po rin magdilidili, ilang atake na ng Diablo, ilang paninang atak yan ng kalaban. Uh, Paul used an analogy that we are like the body of Christ. Eh naman pwedeng yung gamat, mag dili, no? Eh naman pwedeng yung bitis, kawa niya, o yung mata, kawa niya ng pole. Kailangan, ne, aga nakakita ng itang, uh, it, it, it's a anime. Siguro balo yan, Nung, kung laking 80s kayo, alam nyo, Voltes 5. No? Uh, Voltes 5, uh, maging lang powerful po tang sabyan da itang, let's vault! <laughs> In, kaya ba, tugtog na yun lang kayo, you know? Uh, wow, mga saran kaya pang paspul, makipanalbe kami ka rin color TV kanita. The, I, I remember that. And it's a good analogy because believers can only be powerful just like that anime whenever we vault in. We are one. Eh, pwedeng magdili-dili. Ne? And, and, and here, it's very clear, sabi na, rather, serve one another. That's why nung eka pa mag-serve kay ministry ngay ni bibining opportunity ning gino through this church munta ka bukas 9 to 12 kay Bree Farm kay ni King Betis bali ya po itang farm ka rin na uh, uh, no ko rin nita itang ating uh, lawas o yun basta tanong nyo na lang <laughs> yun Another, another, from, from Peter's perspective, 1 Peter 2.16. Live as free men. Same concept. Because they're preaching the same gospel. Don't believe the lie that Peter is preaching a different gospel. Yes, they have different contexts. I, I've been consistent to this, to my standing. Because he's talking to the Jews scattered all over the world. But nonetheless, they preach the same gospel. That's why our, our theme for this anniversary, which we are all excited, is preaching the one true gospel. So Paul says, or oh, Peter says, live as free men, but, say again, but. <laughs> same concept of Paul, but. Do not use your 
freedom as a cover-up for evil. Instead, leave us what? You need to serve people. You need to serve. Service is a privilege. Look at Hebrews 6.10. Nino rin bisang karasban mo, marakal na rewards. Ah, retang nga bisa, Lord, biya mo ka ako retang makarikil ka rela. Nino bisa geni, potang talagang mayari ning biya na tanggap yung dakal na reward. Here, here is a verse for you. God is not unjust. Eya, buri na sabihan yan, literal, eya kahay, eya scammer, eya budul-budul. Ne, he's not unjust. Eya, eya, Keng salitang Florida, ay abartaklan nara, ay mapamurait. He will not forget your work and the love you have shown him, as you have helped his people and continue to help them. Salute to all those who are in service every morning, every Sunday, every day na mag-serve kay Church sa ini. Hallelujah. Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Amen. So, nung ka po mag-serve, <laughs> this is your chance. Uh, get involved in the ministry. Today, I would like to discuss a topic na uh, we need to be we need to be aware and we need to congregate and be reminded every now and then of this truth. Uh, I would like to start as a foundational verse in Ephesians chapter f- chapter 4. I will choose Ephesians 4, verse 22 up to 32. You were taught, you were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires. You see, that's why you need to live by faith because this old self has been, it's called the old man in the King James, has been crucified. But if you are not living by faith, this, this old self, as if it will put a deception, na bala mabiyaya po, pero actually mete ni. Okay, it doesn't make any sense to your senses. But it is nonetheless the truth that the Lord declared because it is in the realm of the Spirit. It is not in the realm of your emotion. Nya pindetang masyadong emotional. God cares about our emotion. God cares when we are sad. God cares whenever we are happy. God cares whenever we are dead sick and worried. But nonetheless, let me remind you, we live by faith and not by sight. What you feel, whether you feel unclean, unworthy, there, it's not the real you. Can I hear a good amen? Labanan me yan, aldoldo, ang gagayang matin ako. Misan, kaya katawan mo, ni katiting, ala kang ganang magatin, mas buri mong magkera na mo. Ala kang ganang makirandam. Ala kang ganang mag-worship. Ala kang ganang. But that, that feeling is not you. That's why we live by faith. Not by what we feel, our five senses. Our five senses are connected in, a, in the spiritual realm, but nonetheless, alwa ita ing mag-define ken tutumong pangatao. Ing tutumong pangatao, ano yung ka-importante yaba lume, nung ninoy Kristo kera at naning gewa ng Kristo kera at nanong telaga ng penga kung sinabi nung ninoy ka. That's why it's very important to know facts and truth. Facts. What are the facts? Siguro ng any uh, your financially challenged. Facts, dakal ka sakit. E mo naman di-deny din eh. At you again. But nonetheless, the truth, that's why Jesus said, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Then facts, mamalis la rin. Amo nang masalese, amo nang ali, amo nang masaya, amo nang malungkot, amo nang atimpera, amo nang alampera, amo nang masalese, amo nang eh, masan, masalese yung sitwasyon mo. But truth is unshakable. Eh, mamalis yan. Anya, dapat itagnan me, iangkla me, manalakaran ko, eh, ketang facts, nung eh, ketang truth. That is living by faith. 
Kasi kailangan alway ene man kasi mag 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 compromise in in truth can fact. Pero po tang pen walang may tang truth which is the word of God. Mag inter mi mi ka divine intervention kay tang facts no nung masakit ka tanggap tang giling. Nung alakang alakang pera tanggap tang provision. Can I hear a good amen? Nung eko masalese ning pamilya mo sa paka nakalugod ning Ginoo pong kabiyasan makanano ya salese ning pamilya mo. You need to stand on this truth, not on the facts. Aldoldo, kailangan kang i-remind ng sarili ko ka rin. And you also. Because for the rest of our journey here on earth, we will be battling between truth and facts. Can I hear a good amen if we are on the same page? That's why he wants us to be made new in the attitude of our minds. We have attitudes in our minds. Lagi tang mapanisip maro, lagi tamong negative, mas lagi tamong akakitit ang matsura kaysa kaya tang masanting. Kasi at yung taking world ay ni. But today, in the spiritual realm, we are under the tree of life. Alang, alang, alang bad things kaya katamo. Inside. That's why po tang mikakasala la rin tao, the Holy Spirit will not remind you of your sins. Contrary, karem pipritz da rin 95% da rin pastor, ang po rin BA. Alayo kayong Bible to, binudul-budul da katamo. The Holy Spirit will remind you of what Jesus did at the cross. The Holy Spirit, let me put it in a very plain words, the Holy Spirit will remind you not about what is wrong with you. He will remind you what is right with you in Christ Jesus. That's why when the Corinthians committed a blunderous act of sin, he did not condemn them. What he said is, don't you know that you are washed, you are justified, and you are sanctified. And you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Or any more than Isipan may itan, ang kalalait ang kasalanan ka rin. Eno pe mangon dem. Dati kong makanyan, dati kayo. Papatulan nyo rin prostitute, sana. Uh, mapamurait kayo. Makan pero ngayon eh. Anyang tanggapan niya na yung Kristo? Uwa, may kakasala ka pa, pero alwana yung ika yung tutong ito. So, naning maliliyari po itang pagkabiyem mo rito? You're living a life of life. And so, you are condemned and guilty. You know, itang guilt, balo mo, nung balo mo yung gamitan, just like law, Ang Timohana, you shall not covet. Ain't thou covetous yo? Mapagnasaya kaya tangi kayo. Normal kayang tao yan, mas kinino. Anya nga, dakala yung gitera, ang pong seloso. Ne? Puta nga kakit ko reto. Mariremind ko kaya tangi ko dapat magtiwala kaya sarili ko. If I know how to use the law, it will always lead me to grace. Can I hear a good amen? So, the same with guilt. Potang makarandam kang guilt, makukonsensya ka, use that guilt. That reminds you through that, that, that guilt, you cannot overcome that guilt unless you trust Jesus. You use that guilt as a re leverage that you cannot overcome every sin and temptation as apart from knowing of who you are in Christ. Agyo mong gamitan, gamitan mo rin ito. Maging yung pagsubok, gamitan mo yung pagsubok. Nakitang pagsubok ay ito, na anumang kasakitan daralan ng tamo, gamitan mo ito. Pare ka magtiwala kay sarili mo. Miras ka kitang desperado ka, lakang aliwang pagtiwala nung yung gino. Use that as a leverage. Use that as a, as a leverage to be reminded that your life is Jesus. So if you feel guilty, thank you, Lord. You're reminding me that this guilt, you took it away at the cross. Then you are using that guilt. The devil is, will use that to sow sickness, worries, and, and depression. But God can use that so that you will be drawn once again to put your trust on the finished work of Christ. The devil meant it to destroy you, but God meant it for good. He can turn, he can turn any impediments or hindrances. 
hurdles into blessing. Say amen if, if we are on the same page. These are the things we need to learn. I need to learn. As your spiritual leader, the Lord is teaching me every day with regards to all these things. That's why I'm sharing them to you. I'm not, it's just not pure talk. In one way or another, may sasakab tangan. Balo yun po, gamitan niya ito. Balo mo po, tang may sasakab ko, paga nakahanan yung ginukiya ko, eh, kadapat mapanus go. Uling ikaman, may sasakab ko. And God sees the law as a composite whole. Ana, may kasala ka kaya tang may itong lebagan mo na yung buo. Ano? Pama, kukondem may tang babayero. When reality, nakalara man nakakaindredos. Ala ka pa, may liwa kayo. Are you listening? God is not in agreement with all form of sin because it ruins lives. But my point is, you can use that instead of being guilty and playing your pity party game into a blessing na maging kang considerate ang pong malugod Ah, pasiyag ming maya pabalita na yung mga tulang din may kakasalo o limbalo mo ikaman may sasakab ko pero yung sasawang mamakalulu yung ginung kiko. Ang gang eka makatalakad kaya itang katutuwang ito eka magamit king gospel mightily. Ulin din, tau-tau lo. Bayu, maluat na. Palpikasala lo. Misasakab lo. With or without grace. With or without law. Misasakabi yung tau. But the antidote for all this mess is the finished work of Christ. Kaya tayo na mag-closing, ne? We receive a lot. Sometimes we don't need a lot to hear. Let's just finish this. 20... Let's jump to 32. Jump na tayo sa 32. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as Christ, God, in Christ, God what? Forgave you. That is your standard. God forgave you. Let's, let me go to my slides. The word gospel means good news. Stop listening to people who tell you that it's something else. A diluted gospel is a polluted gospel. And a polluted gospel is no gospel at all. Divine love is unconditional. Can I share? Sinyar ko na ini pero ishare kaya pa ulit. I think it's worth repeating. I was listening to a preacher in Davao. He mentioned, "Tang me tong a masigasig a leader, nagpakamatay." Itang mentor na, ing popokpok na ing buntok na gempa der si si siya niya naman isarili na, devastated ing buong church. Ing 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 makasurpresa kaya tang kwento, itang reason na ning paka, o bat mikpakamatay itang worker. Kasi, yung tuturo na ng mentor is itong eka mag-devotion, eka may nalangin, eka mag-fasting. You are worldly. And you are, you are not worth it to be a worker. Bali yung bang 95% ka rin BA, yan tuturo tayo ta. Especially kaya itang word ng discipleship. Lalo na rin mag-G12. O, dakal na naman mimuha ka ako kanyan. Pero no karakal ding, ano karakal ding, makirandam kaya katahan mo. Thousands sa pastor, silently, makirandam lo. I don't care. Basta may kalat siya yung totong gospel. Pupukpok na yung buntok na sabi na, no ka rin kumikamali yan na kaya pa magdabawin nyo na. Guguli sa kaya yung puso ko. Mali ko, tuturo. Kasi bibase na itang worth the ketang may masalang Bible. May gayuno lang po, may devotion lo. Eh, ta naman naging ka rin eh. Byproduct la rin. Pero yung worth mo, lahi ko rin gagawan mo. Yung worth mo, kaya itang gawa ng Kristo. Bali yung bang makanyan yung mapipreach dumidumingu ka rin born again churches? Anyaya ako, yung born again eh. Maluwa na akong kinawa ni Ken, born again. Uling them, born again, 
Karen lang uju rin. E na, eto naman, wow, gamit, ginamit dito ang rebirth ng Bible. But the appropriate term is, we are a new creation. Our gospel is in 5.21. He who knew no sin became a sin offering so that in Him, we might become the righteousness of God. Because Paul says, if the true gospel is preached, the righteousness of God is revealed. If it is not revealed, it's a bogus gospel. May budul-budul kayo. Yeah, there are thousands of paroring religious organization pulling into priest the last one. Biro mo, God loves you, Wara. Lum- di, kasi, panwal, sabi yung deke kayo ni. Potang ka lumukarelo. Ako kanita, era ko buring magmaong. Bali bang kaya tampibat ang kunsya, siya ako pwedeng magmaong. Yan nga yun, may niglo ko pa niya kung makamaong. Istong migmaong ko kung tra- do- do- kerek. Mga rebuke ko, mga paldo ko. Kailangan dito ang gabar din ng pongol. Di sana yung sister Beite. Eh. Pwede kang mangiling sibuyas kaya taram na nga bulid na ng pantalon mo. And they will not even allow us to listen to worldly song. Pilris ding ang conditional. Pero niyang kagat ka kaya ang bait daw. Anong karakala condition? If God loves you unconditionally, He loves you no string attached, period. And that love living inside you will guide you through. Say an amen if we're on the same page. Papatokeng malinig kaya kayo. Ala akong buring taga CCMA, ang mga purayit, ang mga kirandam ka rin preacher. Alasun in tuturo doon. Paul is battling the same struggle during his time. You will become unpopular when you stand on this. Kasi reintindihan nito ang point of view. Balara, po-promote mo yung promiscuity. Na anong buring sabihin ng promiscuity? Itang Itang, uh, itang, itang bieo, alam pa kung danga, no. No, that's not. We are not. We are more aware of who we are when you're focused. Can, can I say something? If grace is Christ, and through Christ the Holy Spirit is in your heart, will Jesus and the Holy Spirit lead you to sin? You are not confident in answering Will Jesus and the Holy Spirit lead you to sin? A big no. Bakit? Bakit pepilit ding batas? Because they have more control and trust to what they can do rather than what Jesus did at the cross and what He will do for them through that finished work. Ita talaga yung problema ng ini. Panwalan mi naman din, pastor, araw. Pero isang tiro mila rin. Gawa nung gawa ang kasalanan din tao. Ah. Yung totoo na turo mo yung pungali, gawa yung kasalanan din tao. Yung pamyaliwa po, tanga tiyo yung spirito kaya ko, eh ka manatili keng dewakan. Can I hear a good amen? Isang mag-stay ka ka rin, eh ka masaya. Nya nga sabi ko kaya kagamitan may guilt and condemnation as a leverage. Do not let the devil use it to destroy you. Use it as a reminder you cannot overcome all your weaknesses from yourself only in Christ by looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. In sickness mo, po tampanirang masakit. Do not let the devil ruin that sickness, that 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 your your perspective. Be reminded by his stripes you are healed, and be reminded also that you are not afraid of dying. Be reminded that bisa kate bisa matero. Be reminded that your true life is not here on earth. Be reminded. That no matter what happened, because you are the temple of the Holy Spirit, God is with you. Use that as a leverage. Don't let the devil cripple your faith. Your step. Uh, when, 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 when Joseph was was the throne, kasi buri dem patent. God used that as a leverage 
That's why at the end of his story, he said, you meant it to destroy me. You meant it for evil. But God intended it for good. Through all those sufferings, God used that so that he can finally go in his greatest destiny. In Gino, deng, deng pagsubo ka, pagdalanan mo ngayon eh. Imbes na gumaga kang magmalun, gamitan mong leverage din. Ketang makananong paralan, na kan Lord ka magtiwala. Anang Paul, at yun nagkiketang alos bala mo, bingit ning kamatayan, Anang Paul. King 1 Corinthians chapter 1. But this happened, ano, so that we will not rely on ourselves. But we will put our trust in the God who raises the dead. Ano? You see, even Paul makaranas yang desperation. Even Paul miraras siya ka rin dead end. No? Paulit-tulit na katang pain, tulutan yung ginoom. Ating kampera ngayon, ipanga bukas. Ni panyaling. Na? Pa, pa, <laughs> pamasaya lang ako. Nang kaya yung Lord, pain tulutan na ito, banta akit mo ketang Uling, ketang alakang obra, alakang pera, akit mo, eh mo pala kailangan yung dakala pera. Ah, discovery mo yung satisfaction mo. Alware, tang dakal mong pera yung satisfaction mo, i Jesus Christ. Akit mo, mamangang ka, ang gangi ka dakala pera. Akit mo, eh kami kakasakit, ang gangi ka dakala pera. Akit mo, ang gangi ka dakala pera, masaya ka. You finally discover na yung kerang completeness, alayo ka retang pera mo. At tuya ketang nung ninoy ka kang Kristo. Paing tulutan nung Kristo reta. Bang kanita, discovery mo, your completeness is in Christ. And until you learn that lesson, you will go round and round and round. And when finally Jesus is your completeness, alang kwentang ibulus na yung pagpapahala, huling balo na, eh may sambaling gift rather than the giver. Not the blessing, but the blesser. Eh kahit kasi, anya mapipigilan, dininanda ka mong dinala na libuwer na kaya akit kayo ni. 100,000 lari na, be. Anong 1 million niya pa yan, pota, kasino na, kasino na kamunto. Eh ba dapat mo na ka pang magatin? At pasalamatan mo yung ginulo, thank you ka rin 100,000. Ali eh, 100,000 lang mo eh, da nakakit ka yan eh. Baka na nakapang dyan 1 million eh, deal out mo na! Hallelujah. Atin ko pa bang kasabi eh? Next, these are good uh, excerpts from the articles that I'm reading, so I would like to share them to you. Don't rely on your own effort to lead you to right happenings and opportunities. When you focus on Jesus and dwell, He's dwelling in us, right? But you pray in the Spirit and just harnessing, it's called practicing the presence of God. You will experience Kairos. What is Kairos? Season of yes in your life. You are in a season of yes. That's why the Bible says, be filled with the Holy Spirit. When you are filled with the Holy Spirit, God will give you a lot of opportunities. Because He will show you the green pastures. Let that sink in. Neng Kairos, sasabihan ko medyo profoundly. Because it took me many years to learn them. Then I will just say it in a blink of an eye. Let that sink in. <laughs> I'm also a slow learner like you. But whenever I speak, I speak with experience. Let that sink in. Next. I love this. It's a cute uh, article, but uh, anyway, I would like to share it. If you talk about people to other people, it's called marites, gossip. But if you talk to God about them, you love them. It's called prayer. Lord, pena sakit na ako kapanandaman, kaluguran ke, pakilan me puso. Instead no, bitches miss me, nekarokaw gali, blah, blah, blah. Just there's a great chasm between sabyanan may kain tao, pero potang ka Lord may dudulog. I think the greatest care we can do to people is when we pray for them, even without knowing that they are being prayed for. 
yung pong mga IT natin na uh, lumalabas sa akin na hindi ko alam yung mga quotable quotes. Thank you. Alam ko lalabas 'yan sa mga sa mga ano natin. Hindi ko po pinag hindi ko pini-prepare 'yan under the action of the Holy Spirit. It's just it's just coming out in me naturally by his mercy alone. Next. Yesterday's sin cannot stop you tomorrow's righteousness. Any sin Christ has forgiven does not exist. Say amen. That's why when you, Lord, I'm sorry. It, it's good to your soul, but that will not change the fact that you're already forgiven. It's good to the soul. You talk to your father. Lord, I mess it out today. Lord, I, may, I, I mess it big time, Lord. But thank you, Lord. At the cross, there lies my forgiveness. Redemption speaks in volume. The Bible says, the blood of Jesus speaks better than the blood of Abel. The blood of Abel speaks vengeance. The blood of Jesus speaks, all your sins are forgiven. Say amen. Bali yung pang sobra kayong blessed na randaman yung rene. Bali yung po tang may invite ko ka rin churches. And ako, bisa, bisa la pa. Mapagal na ako, bili ko niya yung mic, pero manyad la pa. Pero kayo, masyado ko sa niyata, ne. Bali yung pang gintula rin si share ko kaya kayo. Are you listening? Next. I love this. Faith is not something you must do or manufacture. Faith is resting in the restful persuasion that God is greater than our storm. Say amen. Faith is refusing to panic and choosing to trust that He will safely bear us on the other side. Say amen. If you believe God's got this, Say to the person next to you, God's got this. Next. Maybe you're struggling with sin and carrying truckloads of guilt. Perhaps you were shamed like a clock. The solution to your problem is standing on a hill 2,000 years ago in the past. If you are battling with guilt and condemnation, I'm speaking specifically niya ulit ulit ang koreni. Because in one big time nagagamita na ng devil kero. Because he is called the accuser of the brethren. Heed the words of Jesus and proclaim the forgiveness over yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror and confess what the Bible says true about you. I have been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Say after me, I have been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Say after me louder, I have been saved from sin and know I am. All my sins are taken away. Come on, lift up your hands and praise Him. Hallelujah. Then take those guilt, guilty and condemning thoughts and make them bow to the one who carried your sins away, who bled to purchase your eternal forgiveness. Value po ba tere buring ituro iyan ang gangan ng kalino ng Bible? Then BA yung poreng religious. Kasi ing 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 karelang code word is control. So that they can control you. E may akaget kena ng confession nung iyan mangumpisal. E yam ipatawar para control doren tao. Pero alay ng Bible ito. It is to control people. Here, we are not controlling you. We are encouraging you to allow yourself to be controlled by the Holy Spirit. There's a great truth in chasm or chasm in that, in that statement. Next. The principle of life arising out of death is embedded in the universe. Uh, November. Ah, Yerine. Yerine puing, Yerine puing fall. My favorite time of the year kareng banda Europe is fall, not spring. Nung minta na ko po kaya Europe, kaya kareng, kareng bansang magyelo, in fall, mag... Uh, Brother Nelson, you, you know what I'm saying. But again, uh, a magical in, in, in fall. It's like wala mo kakabiya kaget ang another world. Kit mo rin bulong. But, but that 
that's a, that's a sign of death. Ang mga inala rin tanaman kanta kasi para tanging winter. Ne? Akit mo lo mag deng 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 uh, miyayalo ang uh, animals sa salikot na lang mag-prepare na lang for winter, marimla na. Autumn comes and leaves and flowers begin to lose their color until the cold winds of winter blow across a barren landscape. With the early sign of spring, new life begins to emerge as vegetation proclaims the truth of resurrection from the dead. Nakakitse, uh, magiging nature, mag-speak yaket ng death, burial, and resurrection. Ne? Ang ga, anya, ginamit ng Lord yung tinape, eh. yung tinape, eh. baya itang wit, agtalande, meteo, kaypat, masande, kaypat. Lalo, ne? I- Ikanare kayo ngon, lalo yung mete, and then mag to life yun into a food. Next. The life from death principle continues on an ongoing part of all our experience. Listen to this. This is so profound. Something we love dies. Something new emerges. That's not only true with plants. Nga pinakman, wala ko, nangkai Kala mo, tapos na yung something you love, uh, ang ating beauty, beauty queen dito. God is opening a, a great window of opportunity to you. no? Because you, 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 you discovered na, eh, eh, katalaga sayaking yan ito, masalam pa kito, and they have different point of view. Dreams die and we think it's all over and then new opportunity arises. Bright circumstances fade and we enter the dark night of the soul, but ultimately things change. Ba'n niya po itang bala mong uh, itang itang bala mong magkay ka, mga liskis ka balat. That's a sign na mag-renew yung balat mo. Bala mong snake at inyang lupi at magpalit yung balat. It's the same. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's a bad analogy because snakes is, 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 is being equated with the devil. But nonetheless, it's, it's, it's the truth. Death is always unpleasant. But as you see, something die in your experience. Don't lose hope. Nengkay, Lord, talagang sarano rin eh. Panta, tok na nga mong pupursu mo rin. Mag-focus ka ka, Lord. Pot ang ikit na nga mo nga pupursu rin. May pakirot ka, mamuklat siyang big time kiro. Are you listening? Masyado kang, excuse the word, kaya, uh, kapampangan sir, masyado kang atat na may kwalto. Pot ang tuknangan mo ito, you will be surprised. Bububuklat la rin pasbul para may kwalta ko. Nangkahi Lord, panyarano rin to protect you. <laughs> atat na atat kang may kamasanting alalaking boyfriend. Pot ang mete na itang dream mo nga ito, may pakirot ka yung Prince Charming mo, kakatukya kiko. Are you listening? Are you listening? Neng kahi Lord, pati nun talaga rin. Sarana lo. Bantatok na nga mong pupursure tang bagi ang mga kapamuray kiko ing ipursu mo ing patuloy mong isentro yung Jesus Christ. Because He is the source of all blessing. The Bible says grain upon gra- grace upon grace, blessing upon blessing comes through Jesus Christ. John 1, 16 and 17. Hindi pa ako tapos doon. Hindi ako yata. Death is, but as free as something die in your experience, don't lose hope. Because something new is coming, that is the grace walk experience. Next. How does the Holy Spirit correct us? I've mentioned this by reminding us of who we are in Christ. Never the Holy Spirit uses condemnation. Let me clear this statement. Nung makarandam kang preaching na makokondem ko, stay away from that preaching. Nung makarandam kang condemnation kay bosses mo, hanggang kaluguran na kang mamo, itatang mo, boyfriend mo, asawa mo, tanggapan may itang correction, but not the condemnation because the voice of condemnation is the devil because he's the accuser of the brethren. Let me, let me just qualify that statement. Correction, you need to receive that, but never to devalue yourself 
never to put down or belittle yourself because God puts you in the pedestal in Christ Jesus. And do not settle anything for less. Say amen if you agree. Next. Be careful about voices you allow in your life. Some of the most damaging toxic messages come from places that seem harmless or even helpful. Any voice that diminishes you, condemns you, tears you down, or causes you to feel shame is not the voice of God, even if it pretends to be. Somebody needs to hear this. Hallelujah. Next. It says here, because love is patient, kind, jealous, boastful. It's not, it's not boastful or rude or proud. It does not demand its own way. It is not irritable. It, it keeps no record of being wrong. It does not rejoice. This is from uh, Steve McVeigh article. Not rejoice about injustice, but rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Love never gives up, never loses faith. Is always hopeful and endures through every circumstance. Listen only to the voice of love. And this should be your grace walk experience. Are you learning and receiving right now? Tuturo da kayong maging biyasa. Eh, basta guguli sa kapastor, sula tuturo. There will be, there, the Bible is sasabihan da, but it is the voice of the devil. Eh, 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 makiapos ka rin ng itang kayang milyari kayong dabaw. May pakamatiya kasi eh, namimit, busy yo. See that? Sabi ko, this represents the rent of the churches. Ay nga liwa, huling eh, kal, eh, no man, ala no mang societal instinct, eh, nalamag atin. Eh, sa aking biro mo, kapagal mo nalunis hanggang sabado, kaya ten mong dominggo, pamulpito na kanin pastor. Pamanulid na ka, pamangondem na ka, nino pang bisang mag ka nito? Dapat marerimain ka nung ninoy ka pang Kristo. There is a room for correction, don't get me wrong. And the way God corrects us is not to condemn us, but to remind us of who we are in Christ. There is a great chasm to that type of correction. Next, I'm about to close. No doubt you've heard people say that following Jesus costs you everything. And it does. You cannot call him Yeshua Hamashiach. How? Alam nyo bang, ing lagyo ng Yesus, kaya Hebrew, ene man Jesus, ing lagyo na Yeshua Hamashiach, Lord Jesus, yung purina sa piyan nito. On ang in Western world, inintroduce de kaya katamo niya Jesus yo. But the real name of Jesus is Yeshua Hamashiach, Lord Jesus. You cannot call him Lord without renouncing the right to your own life. But see what you get in exchange. If salvation means nothing more than to self-denial and personal sacrifice, people, you miss the whole point. I think Totoruda and discipleship is a toxic discipleship. Here's the deal. Christ offered us unfair exchange. Anya nga yung may pwedeng balansya ng grace. Yung balansya ng grace, yung grace. It's an unfair exchange. Pero mong ilibye na yung biye mo. Biye na kaya tangal ang kwenta mong biye. That's why you don't need to balance grace and you cannot abuse grace. Istong sasabihan mong eh may abuswa ng grace ala ka nga yung ting dyan. Matay na ka mo eh may agisa ng grace. You're not that powerful. Grace is bigger than all the sins of the world. One drop of his blood is more than enough to forgive all the sins of the world. Listen to that. One drop of his blood is more than enough to forgive all the sins of the world. How dare you say you abuse grace? You cannot. But see, if salvation means more, 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 nothing more than that, you miss the whole point. Christ offers us an unfair exchange. Our life for his God's favor us with this exchange. Listen, we give him our sinful selves and get everything in return. A lawful mindset looks at what we give up. Nung nanita sinukuta mo. 
But the grace mindset rejoices at what he offers in return. Stop thinking about what you gave up. Ala na ka mga maintain ka rin. Nothing you could keep. Instead, start enjoying what he has given you. And what he gave you is everything. Think about that. Let that sink in. <laughs> Nyari ang ating low mindset. Tang wala mo, mas ba nalaw at ang ating lang gigiyo. No. Eh, eh namang pangalugi. Ano namang kailangan din eh. Anya nga ako kung ano kaya ka rin, mga ka-perwisyula eh. <laughs> mga ka-perwisyula kaya kaya kayo because God is invincible. Pero sabi na, may pwedeng panasakitan ni Diyos. You will end up hurting yourself. Relax. Only one person has ever handled life perfectly. This life is a learning process. Amen. If you are on the same page. And there is no greater teacher than failure. Of course, it's the Holy Spirit. It's just articulating His idea. Deny, don't deny your failures. Embrace them and ask what they have to teach you. Failures are the mile markers on the journey forward. Even righteous people fall and fall and fall and fall and fall and fall, then get up again. Give yourself a break. Don't be so hard on yourself. Even the best may fail under law. But in grace, the worst has been declared righteous. Amen? Be under grace. Choose. Detang manyalitang matsura keng makanining klasing preaching lunos na nyo lo ayo pagsisti bulag la po migising la rin bless kayo nun darandaman nyo ini makanining preaching ing minunang preaching di right na ning religion nyay Jesus mimuala mimuala kaya eh biro mo kaya bena ring prostitute They're sugarun. They're scumbags. Ano ka mua? Kaya ba't itang na itong prostitute siya? Wawasan eh. Nung balo na mong makasalanan niya, hindi na ipapreno. Wawasan bitis. Hindi na ipapreno panuman bitis. They fail to see the mission of God. We are joining them to show love, but we're not joining their attitudes. Are you with me? Puta, puta naman, gawan may lisensya, hindi may nuli kang laseng, kumakinuman na kang makinuman. Pwede naman sigurong, sige, pagbigyan na kami, ito nga shot, pero pwede kong mag-share word of God. Basta tingin niya pa kayo, ne? One shot. O kaya, ating pandanom kyan. O ating juice kyan. O kaya, nung talagang iting kultura, lo, just drink one. And then share the gospel. Can I hear a good amen? In religion, eh, nakapayagang ka rin, muayaki ako. Are you listening? Just one shot. In one condition. Dapat witi ko. Allow me to share the gospel. Ay, aldo kang kaya. Hanggang may itong yung boti. Makapag-share ko sa ang gospel. Pero hanggang kung may itong boti. Are you listening? Ngayon eh, nung mamaldo ka, may muna yaman sharing gospel, lalina ko. Next. I love this. If speaking kindly to plants helps them grow, you believe? Ninong mahilig mana naman kayo ni Rem Plantito. Ang pong plantito. Niya nung, pane, na, you speak good to them. Approve na rin scientist yan eh. At atin palang waves, potang mag-speak kang soft ang pong, ang pong retang aman wandang classical music. Ating certain wave scientifically, atin lang puproduce kaya katawan na rin plants. Na agad lang mamulaklak ang pong mamunga. Imagine mo, tanaman niya ito. Imagine mo, kaya tang masyas mo buntok ka lupang migkatawang tao, ta, na ano, demonyong migkatawang tao. Ing lawyan mo, kaya asawa po, tang malasing yun. Imagine mo. Eh muna yan pa, mag-speak ang life, potang matutut yun. Ay, may hala singyar ko yung mag-anak ako, mga asawa, yan mo. Pag-pray me, pag-kailayans, may alway tang 
Punta na ka sana, mate na ka sana, sinawa na kay lasing mo, baka may palayan na mo. Ali-ali, no, no, no. no. <laughs> don't, don't, don't do that. It's not denying na talagang marokya ugali, but you speak like. Anya yung anak mo, masya siya buntok eh. Yung sab- siya mo buntok ka mo. So, pen wala na ning anak, masya siya buntok. Ang kaya kung pa sa wayo. Are you listening? Be careful with your words. Ikasutil ka talaga ya. Manggaking meragulya, sutil yo. Be careful with your words. If it can give life, I'm not saying denying their situation. Wow, masya siya buntok, pasaway yo. But try to understand ang ganging, ang ganging psychology books. For every one, one criticism, sabi ra, this only man-made rule. It, you need at least three compliments to counteract that one criticism. At yung yaka libro tayo, kaya Psychology 101. Are you listening? What, what more? Imagine what speaking kindly to humans can do. Anya, maging kaya sarili mo. Emo, emo, eme. Lalo ni sarili mo, no? Katsura ko, amo. Kataba ko na, amo. I'm sexy, I'm yummy-licious, I am God's beloved, amen? Hallelujah, can you do that? Hallelujah, speak kind to yourself, can we all stand? Hallelujah, everybody standing, lift up your hands, hallelujah, hallelujah, don't be so hard on yourself. Father, in the name of Jesus, all this gospel declaration, may we find joy and source and comfort and hope only, Lord, not of this world, but on the finished work of Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody will shout, Amen! Hallelujah! Please be seated.